killing me, Smalls. This has been different, and I feel very, very hopeful. Just different little things that have happened. It's like it's all just lining up. We will continue our efforts as long as it takes. That's the new message from the FBI out today, now in its third day of searching in one Bardstown, Kentucky neighborhood, looking for answers in the Crystal Rogers case. It is the first time we're hearing from the federal agency since the start of the search this week. Shea McAllister covers Bardstown closely, and Shay, at one time it was thought this would just be a one-day search. We're now past that. Right, Doug, we are now at the end of day number three. The first day since Tuesday, we haven't had any access to the actual site of the search. So today, I found my story outside of the barriers, really watching who and what was coming and going. Loads of driveway dirt, gravel and debris driven away from the site of the search and dumped here. At Dean Watts Park, just across the street from the subdivision where federal agents have removed large portions of a driveway and dug underneath, the spot secured with crime scene tape and heavy machinery nearby. More and more material leaving the scene and the FBI saying there is still work to be done. Well, piles of concrete, slabs and dirt paired with overnight security in Bardstown. That is the scene tonight in one neighborhood after a third straight day of digging by the FBI in the search for Crystal Rogers. 36 hours into the search for clues leading to missing mother Crystal Rogers. Her mother, Sherry Ballard, tells us her gut and the nightly briefings by FBI agents lead her to believe this could be it. The way they act and the way they talk, I just feel like this is going to be something very important. It's not only the Ballard family anxiously awaiting answers. It's the entire Bardstown community. People helping where they can, like this woman, bringing cold drinks to the officers running the roadblock outside of the search. I think everyone's working together. Everyone wants the same outcome. An outcome that would mean Sherry gets a phone call she's been waiting for. It's going to be a good one, but it's going to be the worst one. A phone call telling her the time has come to take her daughter home. And right now you are taking a live look at just some of the materials that have been driven off from that search site today. It started last night. It happened all throughout the day today. And we have seen concrete, gravel, dirt, massive mounds behind me. Get this, we are less than two miles from the search site in a public park, Dean Watts Park, just right across the street from the subdivision. Obviously, the FBI parting ways with this material, leaving it here unwatched by anyone. But there's a lot of it. That also tells us there has been a lot of work done today and it's not over yet. In that statement the FBI released earlier, they said that they will keep working here in Bardstown as long as it takes. Live in Bardstown, I'm Shay McAllister.